China has obtained foreign defense technologies using a range of legal economic tools. The acquisition of these technologies advances its national security goals. Simultaneously, these efforts can undermine the security and commercial interests of the U.S. and its allies. The economic pathways used by the PRC are fairly transparent. The specific technologies are often laid out in their national strategic plans, like the 13th Five-Year Plan. The 13th Five-Year Plan is a PRC central government blueprint for economic development. China's legal methods of obtaining foreign technology can be broken down to the four Bs. They buy, bargain, bet, and boost. Let's take a closer look at each category. China can build its own military capacity by buying weapon systems and related technology directly from other countries. Historically, Russia has been the largest supplier of arms to China, but the PRC has also acquired systems and components from a range of European countries. In the 1990s and early 2000s, China purchased 12 Kilo-class submarines from Russia. This improved PLA Navy submarine capabilities and led to the development of their anti-ship cruise missile. China bargains for technology by establishing laws that require foreign companies hand over their technology as a condition of market entry. For example, Chinese computer manufacturer Sugan built its next-generation supercomputer based on American semiconductor technology, legally obtained through a joint venture. The PRC bets on technology by investing directly and indirectly, in foreign firms. In 2016, a Chinese company acquired Silex Microsystems, a Swedish firm which specializes in creating a crucial component inside ships embedded in most electronic devices. By betting on this acquisition, the Chinese company was able to gain access to crucial components found in many electronic devices. Lastly, China boosts its own human capital in the technology field through international academic and professional exchange programs. The Thousand Talents program was established in 2008 by the Chinese Communist Party. The program provides incentives for both foreign professionals and overseas Chinese to conduct scientific research in China. In exchange for those incentives, they often require the transfer of intellectual capital to a Chinese host institution making it possible for the PRC to retain that research for their own national security and economic benefit. CNA analysts examine these methods and implications for U.S. national security in economic statecraft, how China legally accesses foreign technologies to build military capabilities, available now on CNA.org.